Hi everybody, in the last update video, I showed you my model of this for the background building. Now we're gonna come up here and look at these buildings up here, which I went to Chilcothy uh, about a month and a half ago or so, and took a bunch of pictures of them. So I'll show you the building that I'm focusing on first. At the first building I'm working on, which is gonna be next to wherever, is this right here. I'm calling this sort of the Arbenz Annex. <laughs> this is the original Arbenz building, which is built as a furniture manufacturer. Um, I'll show you this building on an old Sanborn map. The latest one I have is 1914. I can get online. And this building beside it was not there. So this 1914 Sanborn map, the building I'm going to show you, or the building I'm building, is to the left of this building. So this building and the buildings on past that were all built out of the same type of block um, versus the brick of the Arbenz building. You tell it's not as tall. One thing about it I didn't realize when I was actually taking pictures of it in person was this unusual roof. So it's about 60 feet across this way. It's 100 feet to the street. Of course, I don't have that much. Time. This is just a backdrop building. So I've only got, I think, two and a half inches or something. I basically modeled it in half size. I did 50 feet back. I split it right here in the middle. And the roof is going to go against the um, backdrop. So I'll show you. Um, well, let me first explain what I'm doing. So if I was going to do this exactly like it was, when you left the yard, you would come to this building first, then this building, then the rest of them. But because of my curve, the way that, uh, and I'll show you and explain that here again in a second, I'm going to sort of do a mirror image of that. Because the larger buildings are these two here, and I want to model them where I've got the most depth. So I'm going to actually flip it a little bit and model this one, and then this one leaving the Douglas Avenue area, which is up here on this picture. Uh, going the other way. So it's sort of a mirror image of what I'm, way it is in real life. But I think it will look better on the layout that way. So this is what I'm talking about. You can see wherever there. Um, I am going to put the building right here. So I've got a lot of room right there. And then I come around the curve, it gets very close to the backdrop around there. So I wanted the bigger buildings to be where I've got this wide space uh, right there. Again, it's not the, really the way it was in real life, but I think it will work out better for me. I also moved the overpass. Uh, I'm planning on having the overpass, I think, come out of here, over here. Uh, I moved Douglas Avenue away from the edge a little bit, or Douglas Avenue. I moved the uh, standard elevator a little bit away from the edge a little bit. Either I will put the overpass here, or I just won't use it. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's not a prototypical place to be there. But I do like that it would be sort of a view block to my little tiny staging yard here. If I have an NW transfer parked back here, it'll block the view of it a little bit. Uh, so that's the plans right now. Again, I haven't done a whole lot in the yard or anything later on, but um, I'll show you what I've done on this uh, building right now. So this is the picture I took a few weeks ago. Uh, some things to point out is the, it's not brick, it's some kind of block, uh, the color of it. A little bit uh, the bottom windows are concrete blocked in uh, the sills uh, concrete sills and also the top windows are so dirty you can't even see through them at all <laughs> and also the black stains running down underneath the windows which I sort of tried to duplicate and uh, didn't have a lot of success so here's my model I said it's 60 feet this way it's full scale it was a hundred feet from here to the back I just made it 50 feet, split it right in the middle. Really didn't have any idea how tall this was, so I just guessed it. Actually, I thought there might be some windows along here, but when I looked on uh, Google Maps, there's a street back behind here, and I could go way out and then <laughs> swivel around and look. Didn't look like there are any windows on this uh, right here, this part right here. Uh, this, is, this is actually the roof and the siding are shingles from N-scale architecture because they're just about square. There's a lot closer to the brick uh, than uh, I'm going to use for the Arbenz building itself. 
Now again, in real life, this side butted against the Arbenz building. This side over here had all the windows on it. You can see in that uh, picture I showed you the aerial photo, or the old aerial photo. But I did a mirror image, and so I put the windows over here. I don't know that they're concrete blocked in. This, uh, These are just pieces of N-scale architect concrete block that I cut this fit and put in there. Um, painted them concrete and I kept uh, and the real picture you saw they're white I mean it's just a, uh, it's unbelievable how white they are so I just kept dry brushing with white till I got them pretty light I uh, talked about the dark stains underneath the windows if you go back and look at the other picture I tried to use this panel line accent color because I thought ah, that'll just run down there but it really was was too dark I should have dry brushed it so I've gone back and dry brushed the stone color over a little bit tone it down a little bit i may do a little bit more uh but i tried to try to duplicate that a little bit this side is a little bit worse but i'm going to show you where it's going to be on the layout and there's going to be some trees and stuff around here anyhow so it's going to be partially blocking this uh so anyhow that's that's my rendition of it again just like the uh last building i built there's nothing on the roof of these things there's no st stacks pipes anything that you can see uh, on the roof on the google earth if you look on the way the building is now it looks like there's like skylights up here uh but since i didn't model that half of the building i didn't put the skylights in um thought about maybe making the roof like put a big patch on it or something but I can't tell that it ever had anything like that. So, oops, sorry, bumped bump the camera. Uh, let me show you where it's going to go on the layout. This was my first thought, but I've got a big gap back here. I, I could extend the building on out and make it be side, you know, fit exactly against the backdrop, which I may do, uh, but. I'm thinking I can just go ahead and push it back against the backdrop like that. And of course the Arbenz building itself is going to be out here, but I can't, I don't want it to come any closer to the tracks than that. So that's why it would be better if I actually pulled it on out like this, I think, uh, because I'm going to have model an abandoned siding in here like, like there was all overgrown. Not even where we were just like cinders and grass growing up through it. Maybe a few ties here and there. Uh, so I haven't decided on what I'm going to do there yet. Of course, the easy thing for me to do would be just be do that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, start on the Arbenz building. Um, and actually, I, I sort of like the little angle that it's at too. Because, you know, if everything is perpendicular, that's one of my complaints about Shaw Copy and my friend Fran actually tried to tell me when I was building it to maybe angle the tracks a little bit and I tried it but I just couldn't get things to fit like I wanted to so basically I made the tracks go right down the center of the the layout and everything's at right angles pretty much so um I, uh, something that I, I did not do in Oak Hill I, I did a better job in Oak Hill so I sort of like that it's not you know parallel to the tracks uh, exactly so now I'm going to start on the Arbenz building. Uh, might be a couple of weeks before you see another layout update anyhow, because I've got to, you know, that's going to be a little bit more complex building than this one. So hope everybody enjoys this. Have any questions? Uh, let me know. Um, everybody stay safe. Ah, but wait, there's more. I did get the random stone sheet in from Inscale Architect today. It took a tour of all the uh, postal distribution centers uh, on the eastern seaboard I think took a while to get here um, covered it up uh, I'm gonna have to work on my stone covering I believe uh, but uh, turned out okay so I've glued it on there for the foundation I will put a picture in right here uh, so you can tell what it what it looked like the real, well what it looks like today on the rail building And also, I did work some more on this building. Uh, dry brush to the color again. It's a little blotchy, but uh, it looks better. Definitely toned down those black, uh, those uh, streaks. 
and I don't mind the bocce. And this building's 100 years old, <laughs> you know, so it's it's going to be, uh, you know, so I have some random uh, weathering and colors on it anyhow. So uh, it's going to be good enough for a background building, I believe. So, all right, that's all I've got for this update. I'm going to start working on the actual Arbenz building next. Uh, it's going to have a lot of windows on it. Of course, just like this one, the bottom ones are going to be concrete blocked up. But uh, a lot of stuff to cut out. So it might be a couple of weeks before you see another layout update. Everybody stay safe.